Hey everyone, this is Maniac AK the Tinker that here and today I'm having my first hands-on experience with uh, individually programmable RGB LED strips. So what I'm planning to use here is an LED strip uh, that uh, just arrived from China and a Node MCU which I already had and in theory these two should be enough for me to have my experiment. Uh, one thing to mention, I also have a power supply because um, these LED strips, especially this one which uh, is supposed to be 5 meters long, uh, will require an additional power supply. So first of all, before doing anything, I'm starting with an unboxing video or unboxing part of this video because uh, I haven't opened its, this package yet. And so let's see what's inside. By the way, this is as usual from Banggood. So far I have 100% positive experience with Banggood. So as long as something really bad happens, I will just keep ordering stuff from Banggood. Okay, so well packaged as usual, and now let's see the actual LED strip. Yeah, here they are. So this is a five meter long uh, LED strip consisting of RGB, individual program with RGB LEDs and they are based on uh, the WS2812 chip which is like a de facto standard nowadays for RGB LEDs. Okay, so this is the first part. It seems to be intact. Now I will have to try to fire this up and we'll get back to you after that. Okay, I have the, everything wired up and as you can see it's working. So this is the basic uh, method of uh, using that LED strip. I is just uh, driven by a single node MCU without an extra power supply. However, uh, this will probably work for you only if your LED strip is like 100 three centimeters or one meter long and that is because uh, the longer the last trip gets the more power it requires and uh, um, above one meter the node MC won't uh, be able to provide enough power and uh, if you try to use a longer last trip then you probably uh, risk uh, blowing up or, or burning your, your node MCU and this is the second, more complicated operating mode. Uh, so I split my LED strip into two parts, one one meter part and one four meter part uh, for later usage. And this also gave me the opportunity to test uh, how an external power supply works. So in my case, the external power supply is an old PC PSU and I just um, used um, the red wire and the black wire from any of the Molex uh, lines and the red wire is uh, 5 volts positive and the black wire is the ground so it was quite easy to wire this thing up. One thing to note here though is that um, due to the power consumption of uh, the LED strip uh, much more power goes through those uh, DuPont cables than it should have and probably in like an hour or something like that they would heat up and burn, or at least uh, their outer coating could burn. So this is not how you should do it. I just did it for an experiment to see everything is working. After demonstrating both of those use cases, now you can see the schematics for them. 
So the first one is for the shorter strips, and then the second one is for the longer strips. Uh, basically the main difference is here, the power supply. As I said, for uh, strips longer than one meter you will probably need an external power supply. Uh, because uh, simply the node MCU cannot withstand the current and cannot provide enough power for the LED strip. By the way, it's quite easy to calculate the power requirements. So at maximum brightness, every single LED requires about 60 milliamps, which uh, for a strip like this with uh, 30 LED for each meter will yield the power requirement of uh, 1.8 uh, amps per meter. Because of the previous calculation, for a 5 meters long uh, strip like this, you will need a power supply that can provide you with 5 volts and uh, 9 amps of power. Okay, so as a quick start to use this uh, LED strip with the node MC, you will have to do the following. So you will have to uh, burn um, a new firmware to your uh, node MCU and for this you can easily use the Arduino IDE. So first of all start your IDE, then uh, navigate to sketch, select include library, then go to manage libraries and here you need to search for fast LED. I already have this installed but for you there's this install button, click it, it will install the library. Next one, just to try out your strip, you can do the following. Go to File, Examples, you will find Fast LED here. And select whatever library you want. For example, this color palette. So, this opens you an example code and uh, this would normally work with an Arduino but uh, we are, since we are using a node MCU you will have to add the following so you will have to add this define line remember to add this before the include then you have to also change a setting because this, line, because this uh, LED strip is based on um, a different chipset than it is in the library so change this to this one and you might need to um, change the LED pin I usually use the D2 pin of the node MCU finally number of LEDs it's 30 for a one meter strip and you can crank up the brightness to let's say 250 and basically that's it if you now uh, save this and compile this then you will be able to upload it to your node MCU and uh, given the <coughs> wiring schematics uh, provided earlier in this video you will be able to drive your um, LED strip with the node MCU so basically that's it about how to use the code obviously uh, this is just an example code so in case you want to do something specific like a customized effects or, or effect or whatever you will have to know how to program these uh, luckily for us these uh, examples are well documented so you will uh, learn you will be able to learn this quite quickly Okay guys, I guess it's time to wrap up this video. So I showed everything that is possible in such a short guide and I hope that uh, this will help you decide whether to buy this strip or not. Uh, personally, I will, I will definitely buy more of it. I really like it, it's easy to control and as you've seen, it looks beautiful. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please write it in the comments and if you liked it please hit the like and the subscribe button. As a beginner YouTuber I would be very grateful for it. So thank you and see you next time.